Okay, let's get in here. I'm going to show you a way to get 200,000 gil <coughs> off of a char. Um, there are some regards, regulations you have to have though to get that much. That's better. 52%. That's nothing even running. 100%. That's not good. Okay. Um, <clears throat> things you're going to need. You're going to need a calculator. You don't need this, but it helps. A you know, magnifying glass to read. <clears throat> I can deal with the microphone. <clears throat> what this is going to be used for is um, when you do your calculations, because you're going to be making 200,000 gil in either two days or five hours. It all depends on what you can do. <clears throat> so let's start with the stock. Because the stock is over level 50, also. all the right stats. Botanist is almost the easiest way to make lots of gill. And uh, to be a botanist that's in Gridania, and you choose uh, over in the great lower area, um, <clears throat> which I can show you. I'll be in that area. Uh, what the botanists do. Now, uh, you won't get the the gathering we will get the gathering uh, log here until you're certain level so let's look at that <clears throat> so the gathering log okay what we're going to be working with is from level 1 to 5 so, I would recommend you be level 15 or 20. It's just easier to gather these items. Now, fire shard. And over on the side here, <coughs> it can show you where you can find that. This lies because I found it in Lenosha, right outside the gate. Or right outside uh, near Summerford. Right over there, there's fire. And there's fire in various places. There's just not fire in, these, these, uh, in the middle of Nosha. It's level 30 and 50. <laughs> you don't have to be level 50 in summer forward to get that fire shard. So the next item would be here, which is the ice shard. It could be found in the various places. 
I'm just gonna go overview very quickly with this. Wind shards they can be found in these areas. Earth shards they can be found in these areas. Lightning shards can be found in these areas. Water shard. Don't believe that. You don't have to be those levels to find those. Okay. Well, let's get the magnifying glass down here. And again, this is your gathering log, so you have different levels. You can find things. It's a very useful tool. What we're going to be working with is these items here, the crystals. Also, you need to be the uh, CRP. Let's see if I can find the CRP. to be a carpenter also, I would recommend level 25 or 30. Now, with that said, <coughs> um, I want to also show it on this one right now. Anyways, <clears throat> the additional jobs, I would level one character all the way to one, 1 to 50. And then your second character at least to 15. Now with that said, that, that, that should be enough. So you need, you need that to be able to get that much. Very fast and efficient. <clears throat> so let's go to the retainer that's next. Yeah, you can see right here where it says Great Lone Gryory. That's where your botanist is. So you can't see that. Right here. In Gradania near the North Shroud. And right here it says botanist guild. So you'll go right there and you'll become a botanist. So this is very easy, efficient. I would do this early in the game. Okay, so let's proceed to uh, destination. to the A.H. Gridania. Now, you don't have to use Gridania, but I believe to be a botanist, you have to be in Gridania. Out of the way. Okay, if you don't know what a retainer is, you talk to Parnell right here. click on her and she'll say what she says. You can hire a retainer. I can't hire anymore because you can only have two. So we can also release a retainer. You can learn. And this is very important, the market tax. So let's look at that. Where are we at? Okay, so the market tax is 
is a 10%, of course it's going to be, <clears throat> your economy is going to be really strange. And then 15% and up to 20. Now with that said, I think, I believe in Hyperion it stays to 5. I'm, I haven't even seen it go to 10% yet. you know how to do this method, it shouldn't be too hard to make gill. And, um, it should be fairly useful. You can use it with FC or you can use it by yourself. Okay, now I'm going to my end here. I'm just going to talk to him to get to my end. Okay, retire to an end. same as being the age, but the age makes lots of noise and it's very crowded and you just don't want to be in there trying to teach you something. Okay, I have Pamela in, who's selling nothing. Pendus, who's selling four more items. Hmm, that's interesting. What we want to sell is uh, in our inventory. I've 
put some in here already. So what I did was I did a transfer to here, to here, to here, to here, here, to here. You don't have to, but I trust this retainer. The trick is, is you're going to be playing something like the uh, crystal stock market, what I call it. <clears throat> you're looking for a price for each, and I'm going to show you what I use as a method. And the trick is not to sell it quickly, the trick is to sell it efficiently and smart. It all depends on what the AH is doing at the time. <clears throat> Let's go uh, from the retainers into the market. So we'll just we'll bring our retainer. We'll put it on this side and ours here. Let's put there. Now, <clears throat> what you're doing is selling an order here, which is fire, ice, wind, earth, lightning, water shards. Now each one has a different market. Uh, each one is sold differently. What, what you're looking for is the highest on um, what to sell. Of course, what whatever sells the quickest, which is what more people want. So. <clears throat> Fire. I have found that the fire for each cost, and I'll explain this, is 25 to 40. When I say that, we'll bring it over here. Now, it's asking for a price to sell it. If you click here where it says View Market History, let's pull that up for you. Right here. It will view the market history. And this is currently in the market right now. <clears throat> HQ items would be over here. I don't think we have any. No, there is none. So right now, now this is not every price. This is a suggested price from this retainer. So he wants 23. P means price. They're selling 23 um, per price, so 23 each for this quantity, and this is the estimation that they're thinking they're going to get, which is not really right. As you can see, it gets higher here, and some it gets to about 40 to 60, which never sells in this here will never sell. <laughs> it's a little strange, but that one's not going to ever sell. So what we're looking for is what the market is doing. And the only way we can know that the market's doing anything is if we look over here to history. Attention, this is the date. <clears throat> this was done 12 6. All of these transactions and all these quantities for this amount of price. Now, I do know that buyer sells 25 to 40. It can be sold anywhere from 25 to 30 at each price. So they obviously sold it at 30. <clears throat> and this is the quantity. You, if you do the math, you can see what it was. So let's let's try it. Let's do the math. We have a calculator. Where did it go? It disappeared. So 30 times what was 100, which would equal that's how.
how much they made. Now some of them go to a thousand. Okay, these are the recent transactions. This is what people are buying. So you kind of want to stay what people are buying, because usually people don't buy more or less of what they've already bought. <coughs> As you can see, yeah, at this time, it was a thousand, but then you see the price is dropping down here to 500 to 22, so somebody dropped the price. Then somebody upped the price for 250, and this is just like some kind of stock market. Now, you have to find the most of what people are buying, which it looks like it's a thousand on quantities. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten thousands in here of quantity, so that's what mostly everybody is buying is the thousand. I don't see but one two fifty in there. So you can obviously estimate for a thousand. 22, <clears throat> which fire all sales 25 to 40. I've already studied this, I already have this down. <clears throat> and each crystal has its different value. So right now we're working with fire. Now, to get the amount you want to get, you need to sell at the highest price, which is the 30 to 40 range. If you can see, these transactions were on the 30 range, but it just wasn't enough quantity. Now, quantity is up to you. I would, I would stay within all these transactions, which is a thousand. <clears throat> Let's do the math. So if we sell at 30 for a thousand, there you go. And you can see that was just one transaction. Now think about that. That's just with fire. If you can sell that five or six times, well, let's say you do. So times that by five. Now where are you at? <laughs> you're almost at that 200,000 range, aren't you? You sure are. And you're just selling fire. <laughs> All by itself. It, it's pretty amazing. Now, um, I depicted this method because it's, it's worth it. Uh, it can make a, a lot of cash gill. <clears throat> you know, it does take some time, it takes thinking, and it takes a concentration of sales. You need the recent, re recent transactions to see what people are buying. Well, now, let's try this again, and uh, <clears throat> let's look for, instead of fire, let's, let's look for ice. Okay, I know that I sells uh, for 20 to 24. So let's see what people are doing. Okay, where, where's my fairness? Now. Well, well, there's obviously people selling for a lot cheaper. Remember, this is a guess. They don't really get that. <clears throat> they don't. Remember, they don't really get that. If they do, they're cheating somehow, like this guy here. Come on. It's unreal. So now, we'll go here to the history. Ice sales. Hmm. I'm 
remember I told you that ice sells from 20 to 24. Well, it looks like it's going downhill. Now we have 15, 29, 14, 19 pieces, 19 per piece. It was 25, the only thing that, but look, it was only sold 175 of them for quantity. Now let's see how many, what people are really buying. So, <clears throat> we have 2,000 here, two, 230, but that is 2,000, so one, two, three, four, five, six. Six 2,000 ranges. How many 3,000? One. See, you're looking for these recent transactions of these 2,000 quantity. You're seeing what people are buying. And you can raise that price. So I sales from 20 to 24. So let's do math with the calculator. So I want to sell ice. Let's just say 20. So times that by that amount of 2,000. What do we get? Wow, 40,000. So if we times that by five, well, we're already at our 200,000 range. You see how easy it is to make 200,000? <clears> that is just a start, and we're not even finished with the crystals. Uh, you still have. Lightning. Let's get off these histories. Wind, earth, lightning, water. <clears throat> so don't disregard your crystals. Everybody uses them. They must craft some way. If you want to make a lot of gill, and I mean a lot, a, as much so you can get a uh, FC plot. You, you can own a uh, FC plot for uh, housing. Trust me, this way, this is the way to go. I'm not going to show you how much I have. Now you see I have 2,000 over here. But most of my gills in my retainers. I'm not going to show that to you. The math should do it for you. Um, try it out. There's different ways of doing it. Uh, there's no real, um, <clears throat> you know, regular way to do this. You can come up with your own method. But selling these crystals is the fastest way to get um, super gill. Two days, three days tops. It doesn't take long. It's all up to you and what you're going to do. Um, and when you have enough gill, then you can go to the AH market and check it out and see what they're doing. Okay. Well, <clears throat> I hope this helps some people in trying to get to find some gill. that uh, <clears throat> you accomplish exactly what you want to do in Final Fantasy. Don't disregard your characters <clears throat> because they're going to help you. And there's an advanced uh, way of doing this if you have a, a carpenter. Um, lumber sales quite a bit too. Almost the same way that crystal sells. Okay. Well, we'll see you in game. And, uh, let's get rich.